Hello, hello. So today I just want to talk about a very valuable lesson that I've learned or at least has been reiterated to me since living this lifestyle and that involves living in a small space, small storage and living with less and I'm talking to the ladies out there. So living this lifestyle has just reiterated to me how not important it is to have all the stereotypical girl stuff, um, such as makeup and jewelry and accessories. And I'm here to tell you today, you don't need it and uh, that you, good reasons why you should probably try to get rid of as much of that stuff as you can, especially if you are a nomad lady or you plan to be living on the road or doing some similar lifestyle to what I've got going on here, which as a reminder, if you are new to the channel, uh, I live now in a truck camper full time on the road forever um, in a little truck camper. So definitely have limited space. Um, I live on a small budget, so I don't really want to spend a lot on that kind of stuff either. I have to pick the very most important things. And um, yeah, so a lot more is focused on experiences rather than stuff. That's my ideology in life and it's very important. And I believe that it leads to more happiness. So that's a quick update on what the lifestyle's about. If you're more interested in that and you're new to the channel, just check out the other videos I think after watching a few. You get a strong idea of what this life is all about here at Paradise on Pennies. Anyway, so like I said, I want to talk to you ladies out there and talk to you about uh, really encouraging you to say bye-bye to that makeup and jewelry and all of that garbage. And I'm not talking from a source that, that is, you know, never did that because I did that. I had all that stupid crap before and, uh, you know, now I've changed a lot. And like I said, living this lifestyle just reiterates how kind of useless um, and sometimes uh, bad for us, most of the time, bad for us it is. Um, but, you know, it's nice to have some encouragement out there to tell you you don't need it. So, uh, so I live this way. So does that mean that I carry nothing? No, that's not the case. I do have a makeup bag. Oh, what? Yes, I do. But what you'll find in my makeup bag is not your typical girl stuff. Um, I have chapstick with SPF in it in case my lips get burnt. Um, in here you'll find my toothbrush <laughs> uh, and toothpaste. And you might find... A nail file in case I get a little snag and I, I don't want my nails to rip off um, when I'm rock hounding. <laughs> Maybe a nail clippers and a tweezers, little tools in case I get a splinter or something like that. So again, it's function over fashion. Um, so that's kind of the makeup. I mean, really, there's no need for makeup when you're living on the road. Um, sure, you can take stuff if you want. But th that stuff also tends to do stuff like spill and melt, which are things you probably don't want if you're living on the road. So my advice is ditch it uh, if you plan on living on the road. Um, go as minimalistic as possible. Um, as you, you know, pick a few things if you, you know, for your comfort level. But other than that, get rid of as much as you can bear to get rid of. Um, it also makes things easy. You're going to live a nomadic lifestyle and you're going to wake up in the morning and, and do eyeshadow or um, mascara or all that kind of stuff. No, don't do that. The whole point is to enjoy your life. Uh, yeah, break free. So <laughs> in addition to that, there's these other, I don't know, maybe stereotypes about gals. Uh, you know, they have tons of shoes and tons of accessories and all that kind of stuff um, and toiletries and uh, which can be true in some cases. And again, ditch it. So for me, well, what do I have? Well, I definitely don't have hairspray. Instead of hairspray, I use bear spray. <laughs> Actually, I do carry around bear spray um, because it's very important because I like to do a lot of hiking and outdoor stuff and seeing the wildlife, but I also respect the wildlife and this is an important thing to carry around for that. So yeah, instead of hairspray, go bear spray. Um, I carry around some hair clips because when the wind's blowing and stuff, I want my hair on my face. So some hair clips. Um, a hat. That's 
kind of an accessory, I guess. Keeps the sun out of my eyes. So, I mean, perfume? No, I don't. Why would you have perfume when you're on the road? I mean, I guess if you're going out a lot, but I'm, this is geared towards being in nature more. Um, better than perfume? Bug spray. Especially if you travel north or the Pacific Northwest, or you think you're going to be around a lot of mosquitoes, you're going to need a trusty bug spray to keep them away. Because trust me, when you're in that kind of experience, uh, you're not thinking about how cute you are. You're, you're thinking about uh, running from the mosquitoes. Like this year um, in Canada, yeah, it was like survival mode <laughs> with those big teeth mosquitoes. Um, on a more serious note in terms of girly supplies, you might be thinking, okay, you can get rid of all that stuff, but what about the one thing all of us girls share? That means you have to carry tons of stuff around the time of the month. Um, gotcha. Actually, I just made a video on this, so check it out, and where I'm talking about something I just found out about not too long ago, and that is the using the cup. So I'll put the link below. You want to check that out if you're looking for small storage ideas, less stuff, less spending money, more convenience, all that stuff. Check out the cups. They are awesome. <laughs> that's all I'll say about that. You can watch the video on that. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably, I mean, accessories. Sometimes I put a, a dog leash around my, my, hip, my belt area um, to, yeah, keep the dogs, clip them quick especially if we're in an area where I think there might be some animals. Um, yeah, so just don't really want to tote around a lot of that stuff. So like I already mentioned, small storage space. If you're living on the road, you're probably going to have limited storage. So that's one big reason to start sifting through those toiletries and makeups and jewelries and all that kind of stuff. See if you can get rid of most of it. You're not going to want to fill your cupboards or your storage or whatever or your van uh, with all that crap. Um, other reasons, lightweight. A lot of us worry about weight. Um, not just nomad travelers, but also backpackers. You want to get rid of uh, all that extra weight as well. And it adds up, right? So space, weight. I mentioned cost. The stuff is expensive. You gals know it. I know it. Uh, and you can really break your budget if you're buying a lot of jewelry and makeup and all that crap. So another great reason to get rid of it. Uh, again, make life about experiences, not stuff. Um, and really, don't you want someone that knows you for who you are? And don't you want to break free from all that? I did. Um, I feel a lot better not having to worry about all that as I did in the past. Um, when I used to, you know, got into it. All, a lot of us girls do. Uh, there's a pressure from society to want to get fixed up and be pretty. Um, but, you know, a lot of us are already pretty. We don't need all that garbage. And we don't need to cover up who we are um, or change who we are. We can just be ourselves. So that's another great reason. That's actually probably the best reason. Um, so, yeah, with that, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to talk about today. Um, by the way, this isn't just important for the nomad ladies out there. Um, I think this is important for all the ladies out there, um, because I, you know, authenticity is a more beautiful expression. So that's kind of my little motivational advice to the ladies, nomads or not, um, for today. And if, uh, you're interested in more videos of, that are lady specific I have a channel uh, I have a playlist on the channel um, specific to lady nomads so check that out if you're looking for tips or ideas or things to think about or motivational aspects uh, check the, that playlist out as well and that with that that's kind of Monday's motivation as well today so Stay tuned. Next week, we will have another Monday Motivation. And uh, that's it for today. So have a great day, ladies. Bye.